Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so uh, I'm trying to reconnect where I was. So this GIS technology uh, is actually helping us to connect, model, and visualize our world. And of course, these GIS technologies is actually the platform that help us to understand our world better. And at the end of the day, we have to make intelligent actions. And that's really very, very, very key that each and everything that we get as a result of it, we have to take very intelligent, smart decisions about our world. And this is actually the power of geography, the power of GIS that we're talking about. <clears throat> and so again, as I said, this GIS is organizing our world's geographic knowledge in different ways that some of us could not believe. And it transformed basically how we see the world. So you look at the different data models that you guys are working on from the data that we have. You look at the different workflows that we are working on, the reports that we are generating, the stories that we are telling, and the different analytics models that we has been developed and you have developed and working with. And at the end of the day, the maps and visualizations that we have globally telling us different stories. All these are powerful, packed in that GIS that we're actually celebrating today. At the end of the day, it's creating those building blocks for shared understanding globally, shared understanding for, uh, for everyone and for everybody. And this is actually what we are celebrating, that we have this language of communicating. We have this power within us <clears throat> that we are celebrating with everyone. At the end of the day, the results are obvious that the, with GIS, we're actually transforming different organizations, transforming our world, helping us to apply the power of digital geography in all our fields. And at the end of the day, we see us making smarter uh, communities. <clears throat> we see us improving uh, our productivities and efficiencies. We see us designing with the nature, even right from the planners and the people thinking about having uh, smarter cities and the urban planning and many others. Now they design in different ways and integrating environmental thinking in everything else that we are doing. Uh, at the end of the day, we also engage our citizens in everything else that we are doing. Nowadays, we get views from the citizen. They also input in everything else that we are doing as a government, as contractors, and also uh, as different organizations that are mandated to offer different services uh, to people. Think about also how the technology has been changing uh, uh, nowadays, that everybody in quotes has a smartphone, Everybody is using an app for something, an app for communicating, an app for driving, an app for when to eat, an app to know which places do you have nice food or which places to visit. So there's actually an app for everything. And also there's an app for GIS, several apps that we are using that help us to leverage the best technologies that are there in the geographic science and actually have that holistic design thinking in everything else that we are doing. And I have to say, I mean, that you guys have been doing very great things that we are proud of as Esri and Esri Eastern Africa. We are happy with everything that you guys are doing, the impact that you're bringing and we are seeing in the world with how you apply the geographic knowledge, how you apply GIS or digital geography in your works, in your areas of application, in, uh, in executing your mandates. We are very happy. A good example uh, is actually <clears throat> the work, I, I believe all of you, if not most of you have seen this dashboard. It's, it's the John Hopkins dashboard showing us about the COVID-19 coronavirus disease in the world, how it has been developing, spreading the numbers globally. And I know several of you have done different dashboards or different communication infographics about the same. And I just pointing this out because this has been seen and embraced by both the GIS and the non-GIS people. And that's actually the communication that we need to be having and we are actually having. And so this one great model of communication that, that, that we've seen, uh, I was just showing one for Kenya, but I know there are several in different countries. At the end of the day, the world has turned to really tracking, monitoring, 
the spread and impacts of the COVID-19 through GIS, through our language of communication. And that shows how powerful it is. That shows also how we are all becoming geographically literate, that we now can know the location, the impact of where, and, and, and what that where gives us and, and, and present to us. And so this is actually one way that we've seen the impact in the last few months and even now. I know you have been doing several in your different areas. Uh, I know in electric utilities, there are several things that have been done uh, in, in population, uh, guys dealing with population sensors, people with the livelihood, community engagements in different natural resources, forest, agriculture, and many others. You've been having different ways of communicating through this same, same platform. And we appreciate this. And I believe that this is the communication that now we'll be having today more so, but also we should be continuing to have telling people the powers of GIS and how GIS help us to transform our world and communicate differently. And as we are partners, G uh, Esri, we are together with you and we appreciate also what you are doing. So I wish you the very best in your GIS day today. Uh, I wish to see the different stories that you have in different breakouts and in different presentations that will come in this event and also others that have been organized today and across the week. And I wish you very much, uh, I, I wish you all the best as we engage with your audiences, with your users in your organization, in your family, in your country, in wherever you are, as you celebrate this, this day. And I say again, happy G